السلام علیکم اینڈ ہیلو ایوری ون دس از مہراج کامران ان ایکسپلور کیمسٹری ود اے ویری انٹرسٹنگ ویڈیو ریلیٹڈ ٹو پی ایچ اینڈ پی ایچ اسکیل آئی ہوپ یو ول لائک دس کلرفل ٹاپک ٹو ڈے سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ فرسٹ آف آل آئی آئی ٹیل یو واٹ از پی ایچ پی ایچ از ایکچولی دا میجر آف ہائیڈروجن آئن concentration or hydronium ion concentration in any solution e stands for potential and h stands for hydrogen ion so basic definition of ph is potential of hydrogen ion these two ions form during ionization of any acid so ph measures the formation the presence of these two ions either hydrogen ion or hydronium ion So pH is a measure of hydrogen ion concentration. This pH can be calculated by using a formula pH is equals to minus log concentration of hydrogen ion. These square brackets represent concentration. pH also measures the acidity and basicity of any solution. If you know the pH of any substance, you can tell either the substance is acidic or basic. Now I'll tell you how to calculate pH. For example, a question is given to you, hydrogen ion concentration of an acid is 0.01 molar. What will be the pH value of this acid? If you want to calculate the pH, so calculate with me. First of all, you have to convert the molarity or concentration of hydrogen ion into exponential value. So I have converted 0.01 into exponential value. It will become 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 m. m is the unit for molarity or concentration. So for calculating pH, we will use the formula here, pH is equal to minus log concentration of hydrogen ion. First of all, we will put the value of concentration of hydrogen ion in the formula. So here I have put the value of hydrogen ion concentration, which was 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2. If I open this bracket, the minus log will multiply with 1 as well as with exponent minus 2. So it will become pH is equal to minus log of 1 and plus minus log of 10 to the power minus 2. Log 1 value is always 0. So this whole term will become 0. We will get pH is equal to minus log 10 to the power minus 2. Because minus plus will multiply and become minus when we open this bracket. We have another rule for log. Log b power a will become a log b. Power comes before log. So this power will come before log. It will become pH is equal to plus 2 log 10. This plus is because when this minus will multiply with this minus, it will become minus minus plus. So it will become pH is equal to 2 log 10. Log 10 value is always 1. So this will become pH of this asset is equal to 2. So pH 2 is the answer. This was the simple calculation for pH of any asset. For further numericals, you can watch my upcoming videos. Now I'll tell you what is a pH scale. A scale that is used to rank or measure the basicity or acidity of substances based on the amount of hydrogen ions. So this pH scale tells you that either any substance is acidic or basic. This is the pH scale. It starts from 0 till 14. Here, 0 till 6 values are of acid. If any substance is having pH value 1 till 6, 0 till 6, that substance will be considered as acid. And if any substance pH is from 8 till 14, that substance will be considered as alkaline or basic. If any substance is having pH 7, 
that substance will be neutral. For example, pH of water is 7 as well as pH of salts are also 7. Moreover, the pH from 4 till 6 represent weak acids. Similarly, pH from 8 till 10 represent weak bases. pH value near to neutral pH represent weak acid or weak bases. The more it will far from neutral pH, the more acidity will increase or basicity will increase. Like the pH value from 0 till 3 represent strong acids and pH value from 11 till 14 represent strong bases or strong alkalis. So from this pH scale, now we know that pH values from 1 till 6 represent acids, pH values from 8 till 14 represent bases and pH values 7 represent neutral substances. Now I'll tell you the use of this pH scale. By finding the pH of any substance, we can identify either the substance this daily life substance is acidic or basic. Here are the examples of some substances. For example, battery acid is having zero pH. Means it is the strongest acid. You cannot touch it. It is very corrosive. Stomach acid is having pH values equals to 1. This one is also strong acid. Lemon juice or lemon is having pH value 2 because lemon contains citric acid. Vinegar contains acetic acid or ethanoic acid so its pH value is 3. Tomato is also acidic in nature. Its pH value is 4 but it is weak acid like vinegar. Coffee is also acidic substance. Its pH value is 5. Milk contains lactic acid which is a weak acid so its pH value is 6. Water is neutral so its pH value is 7. Blood, our blood is slightly basic, its pH value is 7.4 to 8 so it is slightly basic. Baking soda is also weak base, its pH value is 9. Stomach tablets which are used to neutralize acidity of stomach, the pH values are 10. Ammonia solutions pH value is 11. Now it is strong acid. Soap contains base or alkali, therefore its pH value is 12. Similarly bleach pH value is 13 and brain cleaner pH value is 14. It is a strong basic substance. So this is the use of pH scale. By knowing pH values, we can identify either these substances are acidic or basic or neutral. Now I'll tell you pH indicators. pH indicators are compounds that changes their colors in solution to determine the pH value visually. Actually, these substances react with hydrogen ion present in any substance or hydroxyl ion present in any substance and convert into colored compound. From the color of those compounds, we can identify the pH of those solutions. So, simply pH indicators indicates the pH of any substance or strength of any substance. Common example of pH indicator is litmus paper. This litmus paper can turn its color in different type of solution. For example, if we will dip a blue and red litmus paper in basic solution, the red litmus paper will turn to blue and blue will remain blue. If we add the same, uh, same litmus paper in acidic solution, the red litmus paper will remain red but the blue litmus paper will convert into red litmus paper. In neutral 
solution there will be no effect on litmus paper red will remain red and blue will remain blue so color change of litmus paper is like this on neutral ph it cannot change its color in acidic ph it can convert into red in color in basic ph it can convert into blue in color the strongest the acid the darkest the color similarly the strongest the base the darkest the color will be next ph indicator is phenolphthalein it can also change its color in acidic medium and in neutral medium it remains colorless but in basic medium alkaline solution it convert into pink color the strength of color shows the strength of that base another ph indicator is methyl orange methyl orange remains red from 0 till 4.4 ph it remains orange from 4.4 to 6.2 ph and it remains yellow from 6.2 to 14 ph more accurate ph indicators are universal indicator because these indicators can change their color on each ph value like these indicator can show red color on ph value 1 they can show pink color on ph value 2 orange color in ph value 3 similarly on every ph value they can show different colors so these universal indicators are more accurate ph paper is the form of universal indicator which can accurately determine each ph value of any substance more accurate than universal indicator is ph meter this is an electronic device which can give accurate reading of ph value even it can give the value in points so it is more accurate than universal indicator an electrode is attached with this meter this electrode is dipped into the solution on the meter simply the value of ph can be obtained now i'll show you how to determine ph using universal indicator here we have ph paper and different solution we will dip this ph paper and we will see the change in color first of all i am choosing water in water if i dip this ph paper the color has changed and if you will match this color from this ph scale it will show you neutral ph or 7 means water is having 7 ph now if i will dip this ph paper in the strong acid so its color will change into red color which shows that that solution is having a strong acid if i dip this ph paper in weak acid the color will be like orange or yellow it shows that solution is weak acid for example we have an unknown solution and if i dip this ph paper in the solution the color has changed now i'll match this color with ph scale so over here i can see the color match so this solution is a strong base in weak base ph paper will change its color like this so it is showing that this substance is weak base Now I'll show you how to determine pH using pH meter. I'll tell you to calculate or determine the pH of different solutions. So let's see. Here we have a pH meter with electrode attached with it. And if I choose chicken soup solution, I have filled chicken soup in this beaker. and i dip this electrode in the solution a reading of ph will appear on ph meter like this so 
so chicken soup ph is 5.8 so can you identify either it is acidic or basic it is acidic because its ph is below 7 let's take another solution let's take brain cleaner if we we'll dip this electrode in brain cleaner it is showing ph value 13 which means strong basic Let's take hand soap. I have filled the beaker with hand soap. Now I am checking the pH of hand soap. It is 7. It is also basic pH. Now let's take milk. If I dip this, it is showing 6.50. Accurate in points, the values are mentioned. So it is weak acid. If I take orange juice, the pH of orange juice is 3.5. So in this way, pH can be calculated by using pH meter. I hope you understood everything. For more or detailed pH concept videos, like and subscribe my channel. Like this video for more videos subscribe my channel thank you